So I'm here with Louie and Freddie. We're in London right now on the only true pickleball court in London. Uh, pretty magnificent place right now. So first off, I'd love to just hear uh, your pickleball stories, how both of you got into pickleball, uh, how you got to where you are today, and uh, your thoughts on the game. So I started uh, a few years ago. Um, my mom actually went on holiday to America, played in Sarasota, came back, was like, you've got to try this amazing sport called pickleball. Explain the sport, it sounded ridiculous, as most people say. And then I kind of tried it, and then from the first time I played it, I was hooked. I had played it for about four years, four or so years now. Um, and kind of since about 2019, 2020, I've taken it a bit more seriously and I've played a few pro events in America, a few pro events in Europe. Um, and so, yeah, that's kind of how my story of getting into it was. Yeah, well, I started playing uh, tennis in Des Moines, Iowa for Drake. Uh, and then my coach kind of got completely hooked on it. He bought nets, paddles, balls, everything for like a month. Um, and then so we all tried it, loved, like, loved it. And then, um, yeah, started playing kind of a local Genesis every now and again. Never really played a tournament. But um, yeah, and then I, I came back here and I was like, I wonder if they play pickleball even in England anyway. And turns out they do. Um, so yeah, and it's grown massively since I came back. And that's only in a, in a year. So we've like, I think almost doubled the amount of people who played the Nationals this year. Um, so yeah, and uh, it's just getting bigger from now on. Europe. Yeah. yeah. So talk a little bit more about pickleball uh, in the United Kingdom. How many people play? What's the level of excitement? And where do you see the sport going uh, in the United Kingdom? So I mean, literally as um, Freddie said, this time last year we had the US Nationals, uh, sorry, US, UK Nationals, <laughs> um, of which had about two, 300 people in it. Um, nationals this year, which was in literally about a month ago, um, had over 500. So like in terms of tournament players, like almost doubled the amount of people. Um, in terms of actual general play, that's nearly I'd say nearly 10,000 people playing now in the country um, and it's growing sort of I'd say month to month uh, country clubs are starting to get involved uh, like private sports clubs are getting involved it's really starting to grow um, people are literally starting, trying to get invested I think it's quite an exciting time in the UK um, because courts as you can see here are starting to come down um, tennis courts are being slowly converted into pickleball courts so I mean it's going to slowly start booming properly in the next few years yeah, and then I was just going to add on to that, like, we had a couple of American pros come over for the English Open this year. Um, hopefully we're going to get a few more coming coming this uh, next year, and then obviously a couple of the pro tours want to, like, get involved with more tournaments in Europe. Yeah. Yeah, people get excited about pickleball for so many reasons. You know, sometimes it's because of the pro high level, uh, you know, tournaments. Others are really just because it's such an accessible sport for anybody to play. Why do you think people are getting so excited in the United Kingdom about pickleball? I think it's it's easy to play. You can four four bats, a ball, and a net, and, and you're in playing. Um, I think that's how it's initially going to really, really blow up here. Um, people maybe unable to play tennis or um, move move from tennis to pickle. Um, and so it's just one of those ones. I think over the next few years it's going to happen in that way. But also in terms of maybe pro level, a lot of tennis players now. So for any ex tennis player, we've got a couple of other really ex pro tennis players who have now moved into it. The actual level at the top is actually really starting to grow, especially not just the UK, but also Europe. There's players in Sweden, Spain, France, who are actually really starting to get to the sort of top level and maybe moving into you know, challenging some American pros. Yeah, so you guys mentioned that England is probably the most popular place for pickleball outside of the States. What are some of the other countries you think are right behind England? Yeah, I, mean, I would say right now, Spain and Sweden are probably the next two, two best. Um, we've started getting a lot more tournaments, i say, in the Nordic countries, so Finland, Denmark. Um, yeah, and then I can only really see it going up from there. I know we've had some interest from maybe stuff going on in Asia, like the World Pickleball mm -hmm. Games coming up. Um, so it's really starting to take off. There's a World Pickleball Federation. Um, just starting to try and like build the infrastructure to get everything going a bit more. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what are you guys most excited about for your future as the future of pickleball? You know, you guys are great players. You're some of the top players in the United Kingdom. When you think about your future and the future of pickleball, where do you see yourselves in that future and, uh, and the game itself? So I, mean, question. <laughs> so I mean, pickleball itself right now in the UK is just sort of an early level sport. Um, I think in the next few years, there's actually going to be some roles in pickleball, so jobs in pickleball. Yeah. Um, country clubs actually still, sports clubs starting to actually have it as an actual sport, so you need directors, you need coaches and stuff like that. So I think that this point is like, a, if you can get into the sport now, you're going to be sort of right on the, the sort of high yeah. level ascendancy from yeah. an early point, um, which is where kind of, I suppose, the huge growth will be. You're in early, your name's in there early. Um, I mean, this, this venue here, we've got we've got two pickleball courts, three tennis courts, five paddle courts, as you can see. In a year's time, all of a certain, there'll be two more paddle courts and there'll probably be six more pickleball courts. And so, like, in a year's time, that's that's kind of 
um, a huge amount of growth and there'll be a huge number of more players and I think then from there it's going into sort of yeah people using it as a career I don't think it's quite a career yeah. at this point now yeah. yeah no I mean I was gonna say like I guess personally it's just got so much potential at this point here I mean you've seen like even now it's got potential to get even bigger in the, in the states and it's already absolutely massive so from here like from our outlook it's just it's just crazy from where it could go don't you? Hopefully, yeah um last question is something i like to ask a lot of people i interview for both of you why do you love pickleball mm. so yeah i think for me um i think coming from coming from playing tennis especially playing college tennis when you go to like a tennis tournament everyone like you know everyone wants to win so badly like there's there's so much competitiveness out there and there isn't uh, there's not competitiveness in pickleball but like immediately after the match everyone's mates so, like everyone goes out to whatever you know like it's just so much camaraderie everywhere you look which is what i like about it i would say the same it's it's really sociable um you play other sports and you finish and you kind of just go home or you're angry whereas like we had we had national say a few weeks ago oh, yeah. and each night everyone went out for dinner together went to the pub together went to the bar together um Okay, fine. It's not necessarily at like professional, professional level where you're on the tour. Yeah. Um, but the social side of pickleball is like like no other, which is why it's really enjoyable. Yep. Well, I play. Uh, much, I really appreciate your time and uh, pleasure talking to you guys. Cheers. Thank you.